Okay, hello everyone. <clears throat> this time I'm gonna try to save a picture, a still picture from Samsung Gear 360 that didn't turn out too good in um, Action Director or straight from the phone. It's, it looks like this. Here you see, there's a quite a lot of difference between these two parts of the picture. Of course, this is because of the sun is shining into one of the lens, and giving a lot of flare. And the flare is, of course, you can't do much about, but maybe the color difference here, and up here. I'm gonna try anyway. So. First of all, here I have the, the raw file, sort of, looks like this, and first I have to crop it, I use Photoshop, and I just take selection here, and then proportion one to one down like this copy control C a new file paste control save on the desktop and I save it as PNG um, I noticed that Autopano Giga did get some difficulties if I save this as a JPEG because then it saves some of the um, information in the file. So it seems like it's better to have a file complete no information into it. And maybe uh, some other reasons as well, I don't know. Anyway. That's how I do it. Okay, save. And that takes a little bit of time. Well, um, we can go back here, move the selection over to the other side. Control copy, at least on a PC. New paste save as and again PNG save that and now we're finished with Photoshop okay so now when Photoshop has exported those files Open out the Giga. Drag those files in here. And now you see here is no information here. So first of all, I go in and change the focal length to 7 mil. And the lens type, the fisheye, OK. Then I go into the group setting. And I, here, layout, I choose single row. Uh, remove auto color correction. OK. Detect. And now it's gonna look really strange here as you see so we have to edit the picture go into edit go to control point editor and here you're gonna see that these are not very accurate if that's the right word number one is up here on this side and here on this side 
very very strange uh, well and all the rest are probably wrong as well so first of all I mark the whole of it like this remove and then if you're lucky you could use um, geometric analysis that's maybe all you need Take some time but let's see there we have a nice collection of points here and after that we choose optimize and all of them are green that's nice so now let's look at the picture there we are looks nice so far now we're going to move the panel a little bit to uh, adjust the horizon oh. oh, like that. you could use straighten up here or those tools up here but I don't bother about that right now now I'm more curious about the color here and here you can see there you are if you check this down here preview you see here there were very visible visible difference from uh, action director and now there's almost nothing here there's still some up here but let's see if we can change that as well if we go into auto color here correction and choose color gradient vignetting and let's see what happens look at that look here no the colors are smoothened out merge perfect the stitching is okay as well I think look up this here the area up here and here uh, looks nice looks really nice okay I'm pleased with that you can go up here change some here if you want but I don't bother because it looks so nice go in here this is the blend settings you can adjust this as well but since this looks this good maybe I'm gonna change the horizon a little bit okay so that's good so I go render just go with all this it's okay looks good okay okay don't change anything there Hit render okay and compare this look at this area here Compare that with this one here. Look at that. I must also say that you don't get the perfect result in the panel Giga every time. You have to work to get perfect result. Uh, and I'm not an expert on, on Autopana Giga, so um, there's a lot of things you can do. Um, but as you see in this case, it was quite simple to get a good result. Okay, thank you.
and goodbye.